What's up guys? So recently, Stefan Kesting, who's one of the really popular BJJ YouTubers, he made a video about what the most important physical attribute for BJJ is. So, here's Stefan here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll the tape. It takes like a minute and for what he talks about, and then we'll come back and we're going to talk about it a little bit. And it's about a question of all these attributes, which one is the most important? Which is the most critical physical attribute? For this question, I always go back to something Danny DeSanto, one of my most important martial arts mentors, said once when he was teaching. Danny DeSanto said that he used to think that speed was the most important thing, for a martial artist anyway, because you could get in and get out and get the job over with fast. Or maybe the most important thing is strength, because that means just grab the guy and throttle him and just overwhelm him with your massive muscles. But then Daniel Sandra said, no, the most important attribute is endurance. Because if you don't have endurance, you don't have anything else. If you're tired, then it doesn't matter how strong you are when you're fresh, you're going to be weak. If you're tired, your technique goes out the door, you're not even smart anymore. And it's not something you can just overcome with willpower. I think it was Vince Lombardi who said that fatigue makes cowards of us all. And he's exactly right. So from a martial arts point of view, I don't care if you run, if you swim, if you cycle, if you climb mountains, if you go on a cross trainer, if you just wrestle for really long periods of time. Any work on any physical attribute is a good thing. Go ahead, do it. But your endurance is the foundation. It's what so, obviously Stefan says endurance is the most important physical attribute you can have for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So, what do I think the most important attribute is? And the answer is, whatever you suck at the most, okay? I don't think you can assign one physical attribute as a you know, blanket statement for everyone. That's just not the case whatsoever, okay? If you're weak, strength is your most important physical attribute. If you're slow, working on speed is yours. Um, if, you have, if your endurance sucks, yeah, guess what? Endurance is the most important physical attribute for you to work on, okay? Um, even though my channel has pretty much uh, become like a strength for BJJ channel, it doesn't mean I, strength is not my top priority, okay? Uh, if what I work on, my, uh, there's all the different things he mentioned. And as far as physical attributes, what for me is injury prevention, okay? And I know he says, you know, endurance is the foundation uh, for for BJJ without the can of anything else. But here's the thing: when I when I first started BJJ, I was injured all the time. Okay, I you know I jumped in. I didn't I didn't know the sport. Whenever how long I started to go four and a half years ago, I guess I didn't I didn't know the sport very well. Uh, so I didn't know how to really properly prepare my body for it. And I took a pounding, man. I, my first year, I missed so much uh, because of injuries. You know, so many times. You know, I wanted to go in four days a week, but I physically well, I couldn't, so I was only getting in uh, two days a week. So at that point, injury prevention was the most important to me because without injury prevention, I didn't have a chance to work on my endurance because I was fucking hurt. Okay, I couldn't I couldn't work on strength. I couldn't do anything. So that was my durability at that point in my life sucked. So that's what I worked on. And I know if I posted workouts of mine in the past, you're going to see lots of work on uh, shoulder mobility drills, uh, my, or hip mobility, those type things, okay? That is to prevent injuries, because that's my weakness. Um, that is actually no longer weakness, and I don't really work on it that much, okay? Endurance probably is for me, and th these days, that's, that's probably, and also explosiveness. Um, explosiveness, I know I mentioned before, I've had a back injury, and after the back injury, after I had surgery, I lost a lot of explosiveness, okay? I just do not have that pow anymore. Um, so I'm doing what I can to be able to rectify that and with different exercises I do. So right now that is priority number one for me. I think if I can if I can get if I can maximize my explosiveness to what my body is able to do these days, it's gonna make me a better BJJ practitioner. So right now that to me is priority number one. Endurance number two. Uh, way down there is strength, okay? That's not it's I, at the times I was injured you know, not to sound cocky and everything, but it didn't take me long to get my strength back, man. I even even a month away from the weights, you know, you give me a few weeks, and I was able to put up you know 315 on the bench press and those type of things. That's never been an issue for me. So 
Um, it just happens to be, you know, to my channel because that's what I know most about, so that's why I cover mainly strength topics. And here's the thing too, guys. I scheme around my strength and weaknesses, and I think other people do as well. I mean, that's just the smart thing to do, right? Uh, let me just give you a for instance. Me being above average strength and mediocre endurance, I know uh, quite a lot of times um, in when I roll with someone, say six minute roll, in, when we first start out, endurance is all equal, right? I'm not tired, I'm ready to go. So at that point of the, of the roll, say the first three minutes, if I'm stronger than my opponent, because I'm yet to be fatigued, I'm probably gonna own that, that portion of it if we're of equal talent level, okay? And ability in jujitsu, okay? The same skill level. I'm gonna own that, that, that time frame, okay? So in my mind, and I, I do think this, I have you know, certain people I get matched up with that I know have better endurance than me, but I'm stronger, I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna get, just get a submission, it's gonna have to come in the first three minutes. If it goes beyond that, when my endurance starts declining and that person's just kind of staying steady because he's more endurance than me, he's going to own the back half of the six minute roll, okay? So pretty much I front load the hell I rain down on an opponent and someone with good endurance kind of back loads it. So, um, so pretty much I, you know, my mindset is, all right, I got to get a submission here relatively quick. And if this person probably, a lot of times, I see this too, and I've had people mention it to me, they're like, well, I, <laughs> when I roll against you, meaning me, I try to hang on, wait for your strength to come down, to try and make it through that first portion, because then I know I have a much better chance of submitting you near the, uh, in the last few minutes of the roll. Uh, so, and, and, so I, I, I keep that in mind, guys, believe me. Uh, so that's, that's why I, I, I try and come out strong and try and get... Uh, the submission early, okay? Because a lot of times when I, when I go against someone with good endurance, because they're scheming as well. They're like, all right, just hold on, hang on, make it through the first three minutes, then all things are equal. So I rain down hell the first half. Someone with excellent endurance but mediocre strength, they rain down hell on me in the second half, all right? So anyways, guys, that's that's kind of, I mean, you can scheme around your weaknesses. Uh, that's that's you know, part of the gaming as well. But again, it's not, there's nothing, and I mean this, guys, even though I love strength, strength training is one of my favorite things in the world, but I don't think that's the most important thing either, okay? It's not. The only thing strength is the most important thing is, is any type of, some type of strength event. You watch, you, you look, you're watching a strongman uh, events. Then, yeah, then I'll say, yeah, strength is the most important <laughs> thing you can do. Other than that, though, whatever you are weak at is the most important physical attribute, and that's and that's all, guys. Anyways, Stefan, um, you know, we I think everyone's stolen stuff from you over the years, so, you know, thanks for everything. Um, but, you know, this case, hey, disagree with you. And, hey, there's one other thing, by the way, too, Stefan. I have the best head in the BJJ world, okay? Or if you've had it, I'm coming for that title. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. And we'll talk to you soon. Os.